So it seems though, it's more of a cultural thing yeah. for Puerto Ricans to build their own houses. Yeah. And so then does it come down to the government providing that information to help them along the way? I think so. Because, uh, okay, so uh, 2010 Haiti had the same yep. thing. Well, they're not lucky as here. They lost 300,000 people. The construction is very similar, by the way, you know. So what was the difference? Uh, mine too, it was much bigger. Mine was seven, closer, shallower. Okay. And um, uh, however, though, well, I mean, it, uh, I take it back. Okay. This definitely better, uh, better construction quality. I think that, that's the kind of a reason the um, um, uh, death uh, fatality is much less than what happened in 2010 in Haiti, right? However, though, the construction type is unique. I never see anything like that. For the house to have the, uh, on top of it, like uh, silt? Have a, yeah, have a little columns on it. Okay. That's very unique stuff. Okay. Right? And the problem of the, the, if you do right, actually those houses could be safe. Just that little rebar and what I was talking about, it could be a very good house. But none of the house I saw doesn't have good detailings at all. People didn't know how to build things. So it is true. The, uh, what, 60%, 55% of houses never been permitted. It can be, can be changed? Maybe not. But I don't think it matters. What matters is the, uh, if the contractors has a knowledge to how to do right. That mm -hmm. makes difference. For example, in the Port of Prince, after the earthquake, we, our team and others trained, we trained almost uh, 7,000 masons to reconstruct like 12,000 houses out there. Today, when you go there in the Port of Prince, Habit completely changes. You see the actual good detailings amount rebar and all the ties I was talking about. As you can see, it, even the informal area where there is no enforcement at all, because masons understand how to do right. You know what I mean? And that was a program that you guys put together with the government, or just through your company? Uh, with the government, with the World Bank, but with the only with, with the many organizations done like that, right? Many people trained. Uh, we train 7,000, other organizations train thousands thousands, so tens of thousands of people are trained, is masons, you know, that made a difference. Is there a program difference. like that that you've heard is in the works here in Puerto Rico? No, yeah, but I think that after this earthquake it will change because of the people really saw that how dangerous those houses are. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are, as I said, easy way to, to retrofit to make it stronger. And also the, uh, the better way to actually, if you're going to build that way, you can still do that, you know, but just have to do down right, you know. There's a methods like that completely available today. Interesting. So when you guys trained all of those masons in yeah. Port-au-Prince, how long did it feasibly take those people to reconstruct their homes? It takes a long time because of the, uh, uh, those masons, you know, they're professionals, right? They've been practicing that one technique for years. So changing their habit is not an easy task. So you have to not just give them seminars, you have to work with them right. for actual construction itself. So after a while, they really understand what, what, why. Then, then you understand that only, not only how, but why, why they need to do it, you know? And I think no understand the why and the how and the working with them for actual construction, you can make a huge impact in a so-called standard of a practice in the masons and contractors. Interesting.